you're gonna have to pardon my hair right now. I got a haircut and he took a blow dryer to it after washing it and it's it's just it's stuck like this until I take a shower. So I look like that dude in the last video who looked like a, a sailfish with his haircut. I just, I admired his his beard and so I wanted to be like him. And here we are. We're on, uh, oh, what the fork? Uh, we haven't been here in a little while. And so we'll take a look at things that are both cute and strange simultaneously. What is the T-Rex doing to my cat? Um, well, yeah, nothing. It's not alive if we want to, you know, be realistic about things. Also, do you have a collection of soda cans? I guess, you know what, That that's fine. They're probably like special edition, or maybe you got the Hello Kitty one in Japan and you wanted to commemorate your trip to Japan. That, that's cool. Maybe the cat just, you know, cats like cozy places, and maybe the cat finds T Rex to be cozy in that position. Don't judge, okay? Cozy, wh whatever is cozy is cozy, and the cat doesn't have any outward knowledge of what looks weird, okay? My best pal. <laughs> it. You know, it is kind of weird how you can be naked in front of a, a pet. Not that this, okay, don't judge me, okay? It's not that I just, when I lived with my mom and we had a cat, it's not like I'd be like, you know what, let me just get naked and stand in front of the cat. But it just, it doesn't even register with them. So you can be naked in front of a pet and they're not gonna judge you for it, right? They're not, I don't think they have any real knowledge of the difference between you being clothed and naked, or maybe, I, I, I don't know, maybe they do. I don't know what's going on in the animals' brains, but just trying to keep you safe while you're in a very vulnerable position. I'm sure that the dog, when, when the dog is going poop, you know, feels very vulnerable and respects the owner for protecting him and just wants to return the favor. Hey, you watch me when I poop, you hold a bag in your hand watching me poop, I'll watch you poop. I'll keep you safe, master. Nobody will attack you while you are pooping. You will be fine. A leech I found on my finger after catching crawdads. Oh, I don't I don't know about the op. Oh wait, is it not actually trying to suck the blood out of your finger or is it currently sucking the blood out of your, it, I can't tell. I think it's trying to suck blood out of your finger, but maybe you can't get through the skin. That's good. Leeches kind of terrify me. I've never experienced one in person. I don't know that I've ever been to a place where you can find them in the water, but whenever I've seen it in shows, I'm just like, if I could never have that happen to me, I'd be okay. If I could say that I made it through life without ever having a leech attach onto my skin, does it hurt when you pull them off? I'm sure someone watching this has had a leech attached to their skin before. Does it hurt? And is there any risk of disease when they do that? I don't know, I'm sure I could Google it, but I could also just ask you. Spider being as cute as possible. I don't know if that's a thing that spiders can do, but okay. I don't know why something about this is just freaking me the hell out, right? What? What? Is this real and not CG? Because this is making it look like spiders have some degree of intelligence, and I don't like that at all. Like one of these is gonna actually land on my skin and it's gonna mine into my skin and embed itself. Ah, I, need, I, need to, I need to see what's going on. Is this real? It's, re it's real. It's, it's real? It's real. Apparently it's real. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm gonna like <clears throat> check my skin every morning now make sure there's no spider embedded in it. Stealing a kiss. How do you, oh, oh, oh yeah, that's not good. It looked, it looked cute to begin with and then, and then, oh boy. Yeah, that dog didn't look happy though. It, it looked a little bit upset. I don't know why you would do that when the dog is like noticeably trying to lean away and looking the other way like really mad. This was in my neighborhood. What, what, <laughs> what's going on? Short spine syndrome, the top comment says. Is that a real, oh my God. Here, here we have the inevitable comments that are gonna say, yeah, that's a, a terminal disease for that animal. It may look cute, which it doesn't, it doesn't really, it looks extremely uncomfortable and bizarre. That probably kind of sucks. 
I mean, at least it's made it to adulthood as a raccoon, which which means that, you know, it, it couldn't have negatively impacted its life enough that it dies. Because it had to, if that is actually a short spine thing, it had to have grown that way. And so, as long as it's not in pain, I hope. It's made the most of its life. Teddy Kruger. <laughs> oh, whoa, I didn't see that one. That's actually, dude, that's so sweet. How do you do that to where you can open the mouth of a costume? Must have, like, some hand controls or something like that. That's wild. That's like the, um... At Disney, the the like the Star Wars guys in the costumes, <clears throat> they can do like hand gestures. If you look at their hand gestures, if you've ever been to Disneyland, all their hand gestures correspond to a certain like voice line that their suit will do. And so they like master the hand gestures in accordance to whatever people are saying to them so they can give the appropriate response. It's actually, it's like really impressive stuff. Obviously on a lesser scale there because he doesn't have a library of voice lines to have to worry about. But if he does something with his hand that I don't know, opens up the mouth. That's cool though. Twisty cat. <laughs> I wonder if it like hooked its claws on both the things. Like I I don't know what to, I don't know what to do now. I'm kinda I'm stuck here, guys. This is this is my life now. This sucks. Can you instead of taking a picture of me, can can you help? Every time that I do something and I'm in trouble, you just go grab the camera and you don't help me, and it's really disappointing. I don't like it. Please be nice. Look sideways. What is this? What is hap- what in the- What is happening? What is this a photo of? It's a dog, but what's- what- what's wrong with the dog? Oh, good lord! Oh, I see it now! Oh my god! I thought I- I- nose- mouth. And that was the ear. No, you gotta, you gotta turn your head. It's eye, eye, nose, mouth. That's another ear over there. Oh my god. I thought it was someone taking a panorama photo, and it was two dogs that were together, and they moved their head as the photo was taken, and it just morphed into some monstrosity, but no. Oh, wow, that took me way too long to get. Did you see that before me? That's... Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh god, some like, and I'm like, wait, what, is there body there and body there? That's why I thought it was two dogs, that looks like it could be a dog's body, and it matches this portion of the dog, and then that obviously is the dog, and matches, wow, that was, okay, woo, feeding a giraffe. Do you want your face eaten? Is that your goal? Like, ah, uh, you know what, I don't like my face anymore, I feel like it could have a bit more of an eaten look. That's in this this season, right? That's the fashion trend. Just the, the slightly eaten face. That or you just, you know, who doesn't want to French kiss a giraffe? Even though you're not really French kissing, it's just eating your face. Dude, giraffe tongues are so gnarly. They're so long. I, this is, I feel like, the one giraffe feeding video I've seen where the person seems to be completely okay and must have known what she was getting into. Because usually it's like they're in the car holding a bucket and then they're not really expecting the giraffe's tongue to just whoop, and then they freak out. But no, you must be the tour guide, I would imagine. I feel like no one else would be down with that. Wait, babies can't magic? What? Uh. Oh, wait, what's 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 happening right now? Why do you have seventy to hundred inches in your? I'm I'm really yeah. I'm I'm kind of hoping. Hold on, which direction it's going? Okay, so I'm assuming, yeah, I'm assuming that the, the large portion of the tape measure is in the baby's mouth, and it's just trying to roll the thing back. All right, dude's gonna be a speed-eating spaghetti champion later on in, in life or something. I'm confused. Okay, apparently the squirrel is aroused at my offer of a full pastry. You, you really, I don't, I don't know if that's, is that necessarily how how it works for squirrels? That I don't, I don't really know squirrel anatomy, but maybe it's just it's a random coincidence. Maybe it's just one of those moments for the squirrel. Maybe it is genuinely excited to see that pastry. Maybe it thinks the pastry is is a squirrel. You're actually holding a squirrel in your hand. It uses it's very attractive. I feel like I wouldn't I wouldn't have even noticed anything weird with this photo had you not pointed it out and tried to make it weird. Poor squirrel, just trying to go about its day and eat some delicious food, and you gotta go make it weird for the squirrel. 
Squirrel was like, I hope nobody notices. And this dude takes a photo and posts it online, drawing attention to it. A dreaming fossa. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh boy! God damn, I- wow. Woo! Holy shit! Can I- can I include this on YouTube? I don't- I don't know if, uh, I don't know if that's okay. Wow. It, it is marked as not safe for work, obviously. It was a risky click, but I don't know what animal or uh, YouTube's stance is on animal dicks. Whew. Come here, I need to kiss you. If I could never encounter that in person, I, or like without a barrier between me and it, that would be great. It's kind of fascinating, though. I wonder if that thing would actually try to latch on and... I don't know, what, like, what could it do? Because it can't, it's like a flat thing. Could it even do damage to you? I suppose it probably could. There are a lot of little mini teeth. Yeah, I'd not be down. The world's worst, well, you know, fill in the rest. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Lucas the spider. That is a render. You can obviously make a spider look cute in a render. I'm sure there's some animated movie that I just can't think of off the top of my head that has cute spiders in it. So, you know, spiders can be cute. This dog will eat your soul. Dude, is this, oh wow. You actually made it so that the mask, that poor dog is probably really not happy. It's like, why do I have this thing attached to my face? And why are you pointing a camera? Can you save me? There's something eating my face right now and I don't like it. And I'm trying to bark at you to get this thing off my face. You're supposed to be my master and help me out. Cause I help you out with everything. And yet, you will not remove this thing from my face. God dang it. It's cool. It's pretty cool, but I'm sure the dog is not stoked about it. Man, I wouldn't be stoked if someone strapped a thing onto my face that covered my mouth. Hippo loves watermelon. Oh, God. Damn, dude. I won't, did it de-skin the watermelon? Did it actually manage to? No, it's just like, I don't care. I'm going to eat all of it. It's cool. I can digest the whole skin and all or what is what is it a husk when it comes to melons i don't know what the official term is but you could i mean hippos can bite humans in half so i suppose that <clears throat> a watermelon is kind of small potatoes for it isn't a hippo the most dangerous animal in, in africa by fatalities because they can do they can run fast if if you you know aggravate a mama hippo by getting too close to its babies it's gonna run after you doesn't matter that it looks like a Massive fat thing, it's he'll zoom after you and outrun you and you will die. I don't know if they're that aggressive, but yeah. His name is Mingus. Mingus the vampire cat. <laughs> wow. That's like a that looks like the cat's straight up wearing like a Halloween vampire dentures or something like that. Is that is that a real thing? I would have named him Vlad. That would be better name. But hopefully Vlad doesn't. That dude, imagine Vlad biting though. Both the cats that I've had grown up with my mom, they would bite. Like one of them would just bite randomly and just hated people. Would let you pet it, and then all of a sudden, within a moment, it would be death gripping your arm, biting you, and scratching you. Current one, it's like if you play with it a little bit much and it gets excited, like then then it might bite. But I mean, I don't want to get bitten by that thing. Hopefully, it's very docile. Well, anyway, that was it for the past month of Ah the Fork. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you liked. Check the playlist in the description if you want to catch more Reddit videos. And subscribe if you're not already. If you want to listen to music playing in the background right now, link is in the outro uh, over on the Marin Music channel. I'll see you next time.